this way. Is this it, Joe? Your big secret? A hidden laboratory? <laughs> I'm making dynamite to blow this place to bits. Goodbye, prison. Hello, freedom. <laughs> Can I help, Joe? No. No, an underground hospital. The doctor must be doing top secret research for the government. I don't want to be a guinea pig. <laughs> oh. Useless. Wow. Hmm, <laughs> ah. tasty. Oh. Oh. Sun's coming up fast. Get it back to our cell. Open up, you. Hmm? Joe, to make nitroglycerin, you need an acid base for a complex molecule that gives you a delayed action sulfide. It's actually really quite easy as far as chemistry goes. Well, now, you're up early at the break of dawn. That's redundant. Break of dawn is early. Oh. <laughs> You see, if you hit the first stone, vibrations reach the one beside it, and on to the next one, and so on. So bizarre. Avril, intelligent, how can this be? He's such a ninny. Smarts don't just happen all of a sudden. I'm going to call my uncle, Professor Aubert, a brain specialist. He can help us out. Here's the plan. I'm going to make them think that I found an anti-stupidity vaccine. They'll want it, but I'll ask for our freedom in exchange. But you don't have the vaccine. Well, yeah, but they don't know that. Mr. Peabody, let me introduce you to my uncle, the famous Professor Ober. Hmm, charmed. So, the genius. No, another doctor. Must be serious. This machine, which I invented, is the Intelligator. It measures a person's IQ on a 1 to 200 basis. So what is your top score? 167. That's mine, of course. So, what's 345,678 times 12.4? 4,286,407.2. Oh, oh, that's phenomenal. His IQ outscores 200. That's thanks to Delta X, my very own anti stupidity vaccine. An anti stupidity vaccine? How wonderful! Uh, everyone would want to buy it. Here's my offer I give you the formula, and you let us go free. Hmm, I'll need authorization from Washington. With this vaccine, my name will go down in history. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Washington agreed. Give me the formula and you'll be free. Behind that false, well-intentioned smile, I detect a certain edge of deceit, as if you intend to keep the vaccine for yourself and oust Joe. If this were true, Peabody himself would have made this announcement and not you. Oh, he's too smart. <laughs> It's the formula! Oh, but of course, he memorized it. I have to make him talk, but not here. The Daltons! They're all gone! <laughs> so, did our expert in stupidity have a good night's sleep? The scientist who's getting all the glory is me, not you, you miserable little man. <laughs> Give me the formula for the vaccine. You can forget about it, Oper. I'm not talking. Yeah, no fair. It's Joe's formula. Huh? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you so. Uh, take a big potato. 
peel it, boil it up, and... Do you take me for a fool? That's a recipe for stew! Mr. Ober, is it not unwise to eliminate stupidity? Is stupidity an illness? Who's stupid and who isn't? He's too smart. And I mean really smart. Oh. Professor Ober, hand over the Daltons! No! Stop this madness! Betty, but how... <laughs> Threatens Louisiana. Cormac City prison evacuated. One, imminent catastrophe. Two, panic. Three, prison evacuated. Four, escape. But there's no hurricane here. Who cares? What counts is that Peabody believes a catastrophe is coming. <laughs> Mr. Peabody, something terrible is about to happen. Well, 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 what terrible thing? <laughs> Something really terrible! Look at the signs! There! Vulture is soaring! Huh? Mm -hmm. I saw a black cat! The kid? Where's the kid? Dogs howl mournfully! <laughs> Flies write messages in the air! Catastrophe! <laughs> Greetings, everybody! This month, I am selling this fabric woven from coyote hair for $10. Wear it as a... a loincloth, or a shawl, or a bath towel, and... An Indian prophecy! Catastrophe! Absolutely right! Lovely fabric plus Indian prophecy for catastrophe for only $20! That's scary! We must evacuate the prison! Come on, nothing but a bunch of silly superstition out of the question. But, uh, the signs. What signs? I'll believe a catastrophe is heading here when chickens grow teeth. <laughs> Avril and Jack, find the chickens. We'll get the teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you ninny! Ta da! Huh? Well, where are the hens? <coughs> Did Peabody say when eggs grow teeth? This was more discreet. We just need to hatch them. Ah. Cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> Maybe there was a chicken disguised as a cat. Cat one! Me too! No, I'm flying! <laughs> <laughs> the teeth! <laughs> that tickled! <laughs> huh? <gasps> Here he comes! <laughs> Mr. Peabody, look! Behind you! Chickens with teeth! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
We can't wait forever, Mr. Peabody. What chickens? Ah! If you fly once again, fly forever. <laughs> so, what does the cloth say? Oh, it's not so easy. A snake or tree? <laughs> and flying teeth. What does that sign mean? Uh -huh. But since I'm telling you that chickens grew teeth, we have to evacuate. Joe, I will evacuate the prison. When donkeys fly. <laughs> huh? When a dog starts acting strange, can it be a sign of catastrophe, Mr. Peabody? Sometimes it's better not to think about things like that. <laughs> Look! A flying donkey! <laughs> oh, no. It's not flying. Hey, oh! What do you mean it's not flying? Flying means being in movement. That one. Oh, come flirty. on, don't be so fussy. That donkey is flying! Anyway, it's not a donkey, it's a mule. Huh? Well, it's a flying mule! No, no, it's floating. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying this, we're in for a catastrophe. We will leave when a herd of pink elephants dances the polka on the trampoline in a rainstorm of violin playing frogs. Uh, this could take some time, but it could happen. Oh. Uh, certain information related to the legends of uh, flying teeth tell us that the catastrophe will take place in uh, uh, 12 minutes. And now this cloth is worth $45. Ooh. Ah, something's on fire in the sky! Someone save us! Well... Say, these broken wing catastrophes aren't all that spectacular. We're safe. <laughs> Well, are you Dalton boys still holed up? <laughs> this plan was a catastrophe for real. Bionic legs that will work 20 times faster than the top athlete speed. Ocular implants zooming in with a range of 1,000 yards and ultra-sensitive hearing that will detect a mere rustling sound 300 miles away. Of course, Mr. President, for the moment, this is pure conjecture. But imagine, if our army was equipped with this bionic device, it would increase our potential 100 times over. The thing is, we need to test it on a human guinea pig. I believe I have the answer for those tests. I need your greatest attentionism. The President of the United States himself has called me to ask for our help. Allow me to introduce two eminent professors, John Duff and Phil McCaskett. Ha, oh, howdy! We are looking for a volunteer who, if agrees to follow a special medical program, will in exchange be granted a pardon of his sentence by the government. Pardoned by the government? You can stop looking. I'm your man. Mm. The test results will determine which volunteer oh. we'll select. Mm. Okay, so here's the plan. I do the tests, I succeed. I leave with those two ninnies, I escape, and I come back to get you guys. What if they don't choose mm. you? Don't forget I have a 37.2 IQ. Joe, that's your body temperature in Celsius, not your IQ. Can I take the test too, Joe? I hear they feed you really well. Huh? <laughs> Great idea. That means I have one less competitor. Go, the biscuit. No, 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 no. Hey, who was that? Do I have a frog in my throat or what? No, 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 no! Oh. 
coming back. More research needs to be done on the device, and we prefer to send the guinea pig back to prison. But don't you worry, Mr. President. John removed a device prior, of course. I what? I thought you did. No, your turn. We did the eeny meeny. <sighs> Go remove that device from the human guinea pig right now! Why did you come back? You were supposed to come get us out. Hey, are you deaf or what? I'm talking to you! Ah! Time to serve dinner. To serve dinner. Ow, ow. <laughs> How did he do that? He's like a galloping horse. That gives me an idea. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> That's wild. He could make whipped cream with those legs. He can get us out of here more like... That's enough, Admiral. Stop running. I need to think. Hmm? Mm. Ah! I said stop! 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 <laughs> Joe, you shouldn't have hollered in his ear. I think his hearing is super sensitive right now. This is Caruso's last recording. Listen carefully and do the same. Hey, there's a kid inside the funnel, too! Get out of there, piece of shit! Go on three! One, two, three! Huh? One, two, three! What is wrong with this ninny? No! No! no. Impossible! They're moving way too fast! That's okay, you can stop now! I'm stuck! Ah, it's our guinea pig. Just when we needed to make some adjustments. Yeah, well, you could start by turning him off! Luckily, we did envisage a particular hypothesis. That's why we elaborated this close-range deactivation remote device. <laughs> John, I believe the guinea pig has a problem. We simply cannot stop him! <laughs> well, that's it. I'm out of ideas. Bingo! He's heading for Mexico! <sighs> Time for soup! 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 Woo! <laughs> 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 Now, how did he know that soup was being served? Remember, he has ultra-sensitive hearing. That cat will crawl out in the end. I'm pretty sure I heard him singing. What? Are you serious? And where are the 46 kilos of soup I ordered? Washington's orders, Mr. Peabody. Time to cut back. 
Well, our inmates won't be washing this month either. <laughs> yeah. oh, that is annoying. <clears throat> I have an idea. I could organize a soap making workshop. The men could make their own soap and then wash with it. Perfect. Oh. And in the meantime, I'll search for a way to work around these cuts. <laughs> 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 Like soap, you need some per per me, me personality. No, Averell perfume. You also need sodium carbonate and grease. We'll make do with cooking fat from the canteen. Oh, the book says that soap ingredients are quite close to certain explosives like nitroglycerin. Oops, <laughs> that's not our subject. Explosives? Ah, we'll blow everything up. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's concentrate and make loads of soap for us to use. Get it? Mm -hmm. I'll explain. Excellent work, Joe. <gasps> These little soap bars sure are tasty. Stop making bubbles and work. I need all the bars of soap we can make. We'll smuggle them out at the end of the day. <laughs> more. Always more. Why must there always be more, more, and more? Hey, he's talking in bubbles. He must be a comic book character with that power. Watch out, this could blow up any time. Are you sure? It's only so. Shut up! I'm telling you this is gonna explode, and it's gonna happen tonight! <laughs> Normally there would be words written inside these soap bubbles. Um... Ready? <laughs> Huh? Why won't it explode? My thought is that it needs an ingredient to make it into nitroglycerin, but who knows what? We could ask Sam. He knows all about explosives. Sam who stammers? If I make bubble stew, we'll be able to communicate. Oh, well, 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 well yeah, it's not, 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 come. Come what? No, it's come, 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 come. Not come, come, come what? Complicated. Just a little long. Forget it, Sam. We don't have time. We're not here for 700 years. Thanks, anyway. Don't mention it. We try another way. Tonight, we steal Miss Betty's book. The recipe must be in there somewhere. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, that's that right now! Ah, <laughs> oh, here it is! To make nitroglycerin, add 16% of benzotricolrelastomiasis to the soap! <laughs> Where would we find that? Did you eat fireworks or what, Avril? Oh, no, just salami, sausages, some oats, uh, baked containers, bean sauerkraut, a big boom, chili pepper, 12 chicken drumsticks, and a few bars of soap. Oh, I think it was the chili pepper. Made a funny mixture with the soap. Avril, you're a genius. See what I see? Hmm? Here's a missing ingredient. When you add chili pepper, soap becomes an explosive inside Avril. I hope you can hang on of to that course. stomach of yours. Open your mouth. Mm. You'll feel like dynamite. <laughs> Hurry! To the gauge! Hold it in! It's not exploding. Why are those bubbles exploding? Maybe they're all on something like a timer. Press that bubble up against the gates.
That's right. In comics, people are always flying off. <laughs> We didn't plan it this way, but who cares? We're free! Uh-oh, uh a soap tidal wave! Well, hey there, Daltons. This is no time for a bubble bath. This isn't a spa. <laughs> <laughs> this is marvelous. Our penitentiary has won first prize for cleanliness, and our credit has been doubled, all thanks to you Dalton boys. Sounds like he's trying real hard to soft soap us. Arr! Remember, Joe, there is no place like foam. I mean, home. <laughs> home. <laughs> foam. <laughs> foam. <laughs>